when someone says something that we don't understand and we want it to be more clear, the first phrase crossing your mind that we use to ask them to help us understand what they have said better is, could you please explain again or could you please explain something? But aren't there any other alternative ways of asking someone to explain something in English without using the word explain? The answer is yes, and that's exactly why you're watching today's video. So let's get started. But before we do so, I kindly want you to like this video in support of this channel. I hope you with your English. You please help me with the growth of this channel by liking this video and thank you for doing so. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet and leave a comment down below by telling me from which country you're watching these videos. Moreover, make sure you watch this video to the very end not to miss any of the points that I'll be sharing with you. Now let's get started. The first word that we can use instead of explain is clarify. So instead of saying could you explain something or can you explain something, we can say could you clarify something or can you clarify something? So instead of using the word explain, we can use the word clarify. We can replace explain with clarify. Could you please clarify something? Could you please explain something? Could you please clarify something? An example. Could you please clarify what you mean by next steps? Could you please clarify what you mean by next steps? Could you please clarify what you mean by next steps? Which means, could you please explain what you mean by next steps? You just said next steps in your sentences, in you know your speech, in your conversation. I didn't really understand it. I didn't really get it. So could you please explain what you meant? Or could you please clarify what you meant by next steps? So one interesting way of asking someone to explain something is by saying, can you please clarify something? We can use the word clarify instead of explain. Now let's move on to the next word that you can use instead of explain, which is elaborate, elaborate, elaborate. The word elaborate. We can use the word elaborate instead of explain, to say that we explain something. So to elaborate on something means to explain something. Can you elaborate on something? Could you elaborate on something? Which means can you explain or could you explain something? Instead of saying can you explain or could you explain, we can simply say could you or can you elaborate on something? Let me give you an example. Could you elaborate on how this may affect our budget? Could you elaborate on how this may affect our budget? Could you elaborate on how this may affect our budget? Which means, could you explain how this may affect our budget? Could you clarify how this may affect our budget? The next word that we can use instead of explain is to expand on something. To expand on something. When you expand on something, you explain something, you elaborate on something, you clarify something, you provide further details about something. You try to make something more transparent, more clear, more understandable and tangible for someone to understand or to gain an understanding of. So, to expand on something. So, instead of saying, could you explain something, we can say, could you expand on something? Could you expand on something? Could you expand on your plan for marketing the product? Could you expand on your plan for marketing the product? Could you expand on your plan for marketing the product? Which means, could you explain your plan for marketing the product? Could you elaborate on your plan for marketing the product? Could you provide details about your plan for marketing the product? Could you make your plan for marketing the product more clear? We need some clarification. Could you clarify it? So, we can use expand on instead of explain to say that we explain something, we provide more details about something. The next word that we can use instead of the word explain is to spell something out. To spell something out. To spell something out. When you spell something out, you clarify something, you provide more details about something. You make something more understandable, more clear, more transparent. So, to spell something out. So, instead of saying, could you please explain something, we can say, could you please spell something out for me? Could you please spell something out for me? So, one interesting, or rather, one advanced way of asking someone to explain something to us is, 
Could you spell something out for us until we can gain an understanding of it? Let me give you an example. I'm not sure if I can understand you. Can you spell that out for me? I'm not sure if I can understand you. Can you spell that out for me? I'm not sure if I can understand you. Can you spell that out for me? Which means, I'm not really sure if I can understand what you're saying. Could you please explain it? Could you please expand on it? Could you please elaborate on it? Could you please clarify it? Could you please provide more details for further clarification and understanding? The next sentence that we can use instead of, could you please explain something is, could you please go into more detail about something? Could you please go into more detail about something? Could you please go into more detail about something? To go into detail about something means to explain something, to clarify something, to expand or elaborate on something. So could you please go into more detail about something, which means could you please explain something? Could you please clarify something, expand on something? Do you need an example? Of course you do so. So let me just provide you with one. Could you go into more detail about the project timeline? Could you go into more detail about the project timeline? Could you go into more detail about the project timeline? Which means, could you explain the project timeline? Could you expand on the project timeline? Could you clarify the project timeline? So, could you go into more detail about the project timeline? Now let's move on to the next phrase that we can use instead of using the word explain in order to say that we explain something, which is to break something down, to break something down, to break something down. When you break something down, you try to explain something, elaborate on something, you try to expand on something, you try to make something more understandable, more clear, more tangible. And you try to provide as much detail as you can to make something more understandable or more tangible. So the phrase that we can use instead of, could you please explain something is, could you please break something down for me? Could you please break something down for me? Could you please break something down for me? An example, the project seems complicated. Could you please break it down for me? The project seems complicated. Could you please break it down for me? Which means the project seems complicated, complex. I need further clarification. Could you please explain it? Could you please provide more detail about it? Could you please go into more detail about it and make it more understandable? Could you please break it down for me? So breakdown is an interesting way of saying that you explain something. So to break something down means to explain something, to provide more detail about something, to go into more detail about something. The next phrase that we can use instead of explain is to shed light on something, to shed light on something, to shed light on something. When you shed light on something, you try to explain something, you try to break something down, you try to go into detail about something, you try to clarify something. So, to shed light on something. So, the question that we can use instead of, could you explain something, instead of repeating explain is, could you shed light on something? Could you shed light on something? Could you shed light on something? An example, could you shed light on why you changed the plan? Could you shed light on why you changed the plan? Could you shed light on why you changed the plan? Which means, could you please explain why you changed the plan? Could you go into more detail about why you changed the plan? Could you clarify why you changed the plan? Could you expand on or elaborate on why you changed the plan? And now let's get to the last phrase of today's video that we can use to say that we explain something to someone, which is to walk someone through something, to walk someone through something, to walk someone through something. So instead of saying, could you please explain something to me? We can simply say, could you please walk me through something? Could you please walk me through something? Could you please walk me through something? So to walk someone through something means to explain something to someone or to clarify something for someone, to expand on something, to elaborate on something. One example, could you walk me through the registration process? Could you walk me through the registration process? 
Could you walk me through the registration process? Could you walk me through the registration process? Which means, could you explain the registration process to me? Could you clarify the registration process? Could you expand on the registration process? Could you elaborate on the registration process? Could you go into more detail about the registration process? Could you shed light on the registration process? And that's about it guys. In today's video, you learn lots of beautiful sentences and phrases that you can use and take advantage of to ask someone to explain something to you without repeating the word explain. There is nothing wrong at all with using the word explain. It's one of the most commonly used words to ask someone to break something down for us, to go into more detail about something until we can understand it, but you can take advantage of these phrases as well. Let's review them together. Could you clarify something? Could you clarify something? Could you elaborate on something? Could you elaborate on something? Could you expand on something? Could you expand on something? Could you spell something out for me? Could you spell something out for me? Could you go into more detail about something? Could you go into more detail about something? Could you break something down for me? Could you break something down for me? Could you shed light on something? Could you shed light on something? Could you walk me through something? Could you walk me through something? And that's about it guys. Now that you've watched the video up to this very point, I kindly want you to make sure that you like this video in support of this channel and thank you for doing so. A special thanks to those who do so and support me in every way possible to help this channel grow and get exposed to a larger number of students who are enthusiastic about learning English. Make sure that you subscribe and leave a comment down below by telling me from which beautiful country you're watching these videos. I'll be back soon.